I mean, what would you say people who are, are kind of trying to get started, they have a list, they're scared to, to email their list. What, what... This, this is actually the worst. You just started on the worst mistake ever. Like, don't unsubscribe. Don't... I'm scared of unsubscribe. I don't want to take anybody off my list. No, ever no, you're going. No, no, no. You like, this is like, even if you have only one subscriber to your list, start emailing him or her. This is the biggest email, uh, the mistake. Last September, I spoke to a guy who had 120,000 email subscribers and he did not email them for two years. And I asked why he said, oh, because we de developing new software and we want to do this big announcement. And I'm like, why don't you email them at least once a month and updating them about the software, uh, software updates. Uh, so I don't know what happened to, to that brand. Another brand, actually, it's um, not e-commerce, but I know them through like like a friend, and he did not email in travel industry, so he star stopped emailing them during COVID because nobody traveled, and he just started emailing them this month. So his oh, no, I bet the unsub was yeah, atrocious. And, yeah, and open rate I believe was below one percent, and he oh. has like. And he has like 150,000 subscribers. So, wow. So, so doesn't matter how big or small you are, please continue like, e like email at least once a month, if possible, once a week and set up at least welcome, uh, welcome automation. Thank, thank them to the brand, like uh, welcome them to the brand. And, and for people who are afraid to unsubscribe people who aren't engaged, right? I mean, that's one of the biggest things, in my opinion, if you've got a decent sized email list, you just have to do it. Like, like that'd be like never cleaning your house or your apartment. Or, like Correct. you just got to do it yeah. because if you're emailing these people who aren't engaging it, your, your email service provider, Clavio or whoever is going to go, Hey, people aren't engaging at Gmail at Yahoo. Yeah. And then they're going to start putting you into spam. Right. I mean, Correct. Can yeah. you talk about how serious this is? Like you, you just have to do it. Uh, so this is a very serious problem in the industry. And the worst part that you don't see their impact right away. It happens over a long period of time. So you're emailing and your, your open rep, uh, rate drop, let's say by 1% and not a big deal. Probably subject line is not good. Then it dropped again by 1% and like over time, then you realize, oh, most of my emails goes to spam. Uh, so the easiest solution create um, engaged segment and send all of your campaign to engage segment. If you just want to do one segment and use only one segment, that's fine. Create engaged segment and send it to them. And when you have a big promotion like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, you can send it to your entire list. But also you need to clean up the list as well. Let's say um, somebody who subscribed to my list 90 days ago and opened zero emails or engaged with zero emails. Those email subscribers useful to you. They're not opening your emails anyway. So why do you want to keep them? Just suppress or unsubscribe. The data will still be in your database, in your CRM, but they will not be subscribed. So they will not damage your uh, deliverability.